Hi, I'm Sharon, and welcome to History in the Making. Today, it's all about Earth Day, an event that happens every April 22nd, with the goal of focusing on protecting the Earth by supporting environmental conservation. The Earth Day movement has been growing since 1970. Earth Day first appeared after publication of Rachel Carson's best-selling book, Silent Spring. It revealed the potential dangers of widespread pesticides, causing great concern and public outcry. Its popularity quickly spread across the globe, selling half a million copies in 24 countries. The book resonated with Americans who, in 1969, felt the shock waves of a massive oil spill off the coast of Santa Barbara, California. Three million gallons of oil was dumped into the Pacific Ocean due to a rupture in an offshore platform. Over the next month, while nothing could be done to stop the spill, it spread across 35 miles. Photos of animals coated in oil and beaches slicked with black flashed on TVs across the country, causing mass concern for a safer future. President Richard Nixon signed the National Environmental Policy Act and set off a chain of new laws regulating air and water pollution. Senator Gaylord Nelson, a junior senator from Wisconsin, had been concerned about the environment deteriorating for years. He worked with Dennis Hayes, a young activist prevalent in the anti-war protest, to create student participation through campus teach-ins on April 22, 1970. This inspired 20 million Americans to rally against 150 years of industrial development and its impact on global health. By the end of 1970, Awareness around Earth Day led to the creation of the United States Environmental Protection Agency. The 20th anniversary of Earth Day in 1990 saw a new level of success. Once again, Dennis Hayes was asked to organize this massive event, this time on a global scale. More than 200 million people in 141 countries rallied to show support. This boosted environmental safety measures worldwide and earned Senator Nelson the Presidential Medal of Freedom for his role as Earth Day's founder. In 2010, in honor of the 40th anniversary of Earth Day, a climate rally and concert was held on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. The rally demanded Congress pass a comprehensive climate bill. Over the past decade, public interest in environmental preservation, combined with growing use of the Internet, led to the popularity of EarthDay.org a website dedicated to establishing Earth Day as a major moment for global action for the environment. In 2010, EarthDay.org succeeded in their efforts to increase participation in Earth Day to over 1 billion people each year. In 2021, the world is once again coming together for Earth Day, celebrating three days of climate action. From April 20th to April 22nd, EarthDay.org will host live summits, performances, workshops, and discussions from across the world. The site will present topics such as reforestation, food and environment, climate literacy, citizen science, global cleanup efforts, and more, virtually, so everyone can participate safely. Let's all join together on April 22nd to support our planet. Use the comments section below to tell us how you plan to spend Earth Day.